What are these? They look like letters. Come and have a look. I'm sure these are very old letters. But who is the owner of them and who is the recipient of them? Hi guys, I'm Shen Han. Right now, I'm in Quanzhou, 1993 kilometers away from Beijing. So the red brick building behind me is a representative of Quanzhou, and now it is a museum. So what's in it? Let's go and have a look. Jing Cha, 四月二十四日，在汶乐暨小户成立相关。小姑娘，你在练的是一个什么桥坯啊？桥坯，老师，这个是叫桥坯吗？坯就是系啊、嗯，然后桥就是华侨嘛啊、哦，然后桥坯就是华侨寄回来的信件，所以这个桥坯呢，必须有信件，有寄钱。那么这封信呢，是从印尼的安文寄到我们永春，在我们这个市档案馆里边呢。嗯有一些这种桥，印尼的桥片、嗯，我们可以去看一下。好呀，好那走吧 ，Let's go。嗯，这些就是印尼的桥片。哇，有这么多吗？是啊，从印尼的万雅捞去到永春的达布，所以印尼的华侨。其实还是蛮丰富的，这、嗯、还有爱国性质。他这个是信中提到我们的卢沟桥事件，卢、嗯、沟桥事事件纠纷迄今。月一亿，就一个月多少？所以海外的华侨可以说是，他虽然是在海外，嗯、但是他还心里还是在家乡、嗯，还是在祖国。所以我们现在很多的这些华侨农场里边呢，还生活很多印尼龟侨、嗯呃，他们还保持着印尼的一些习惯，比如说做印尼菜，嗯、跳印尼舞。父母亲经常跟我们讲故乡的事情，我们的亲戚都是在印尼嘛，经常写信咯，寄东西过来，去团去去马里岛，很多人到那边都是马里，都是自己人了。啊、嗯，真的说也是，我们在马里跟在这里，就是我们的故乡。Along with the Maritime Silk Road, not only goods but also generations of Chinese immigrants went abroad. Now there are about 500 returned overseas Chinese and their families living in the Indonesian Bali village in Quanzhou. Their cultural memories have become a bridge of friendship between China and Indonesia. 八年的时候，我们是有组织我们的侨眷到我们的印尼巴厘岛去探亲，然后也带了我们的自己的一些特色，像我们泉州的木偶啊。随着时代的变迁嘛，他们可能之前一些文土著的文化可能就没有保留下来，那反倒是我们这个巴厘村把他们之前的一些语言，还有一些工艺手法也都保留下来了，很难得。Although these letters carrying the patriotism and homesickness of overseas Chinese hundreds of years ago have entered history, the exchanges between Indonesia and Fujian are still frequent, and now it has a new form. I'm here at China-Indonesia two countries twin parks, and a large number of industries that have in-depth cooperation between Fujian and Indonesia go out from here. And the products in my hands will be sold to all over the world through the online and offline channels. With the successful signing of the two countries' twin parks after their persistent follow-up of it, the project is expected to become a new paradigm for the economic and trade cooperation and exchanges between China and Indonesia. Indonesia is an important country along the path under the Build and Road Initiative. While Fujian is the core area of the 21st century maritime Silk Road, the great complementation between them and their good cooperation foundation of enterprises has boosted the increasingly deepening of their comprehensive strategy partnership, becoming a good example for the close cooperation among developing countries. <laughs>